This video is sponsored by PageProof. Span and Split allows you to split text across multiple columns where there are no columns. And it also allows you to span text across existing columns so it doesn't reflow. Let me show you how that works. So here in InDesign, I have one very basic text frame. Now, what I would like to do is I'm just gonna add a couple of columns here. Let's say we're gonna go for three columns. Now, this will allow me to basically work on my layout a little bit easier. Now, the problem I have is that the property features style, this text does not fit the width of this column. So this means that I would probably have to, you know, start to play around with this. So maybe I should have two columns or, you know what, maybe I should do this and now cut this and remove it like this and now paste it and put it at the top so I can move it all the way up and no, I'm just going to do undo a couple of times. We're not going to do this. Okay. There is an easier way. Now check this out. When you have your cursor, in the paragraph that you would like to span across multiple columns, what you do, click the column options, sorry, click the paragraph options. And from here at the top right here, there is a span and split option. And you can choose how many columns this title should span. If I choose span all, I get this. It just basically ignores the boundaries of that column and just keeps going. If I choose span two, it will only span the first two columns. So it looks like this here. Now, for now, I'm just gonna go back and I'm gonna choose span all. Now, the other option that we have available is to solve something like this here, where we have a bullet list, but there's a lot of spacing here next to that bullet list available. So what we can do is just select these bullets and now go back in here and choose split and then choose the amount of columns you would like to use. I'm gonna choose split two, which gives me this, which is really gonna optimize the spacing and I mean the use of white space in this document. And the cool thing is that this is just something that you can apply in styles as well. So this means that if I were to take a look at this version, which is the exact same thing, let's just say that again, I'm gonna go back into this styling so now i'm just using two columns i can now do something like this i can take the eyedropper tool click the formatting of that split bulleted list and now just apply that to these bullets and boom i'll have a split list of bullets as well span and split you can save them as paragraph styles and also keep in mind that if you hold down you're never going to guess which key the alt key and then click on this span split icon, you'll get additional options for you to play around with, including space before and space after. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.